Alright, welcome back to one of my favorite games ever, Modern Warfare 2. So, I said in previous videos we're going to do another walkthrough of it, and uh, I don't disappoint. So here we are, I'm going to go ahead and get into the campaign here. Uh, I have, uh, like, achievement-wise, 100% of this game, one of the few games I have. So, obviously I've played it before, but uh, we're just here for the experience, and yes, I want to override it. Modern Warfare 2. It's the FNG, sir. What the hell kind of COD 4 when you first meet? Uh, Captain Price. This is just like recapping everything from COD 4. Which is obviously the last installment. Nikolai's in hell right or the now. first installment. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of the of um things. Which was probably hands down one of the greatest Call of Duties ever, story story wise and multiplayer wise. Although I, I didn't play the multiplayer in its prime, but I still enjoyed it a lot. I uh, technically I didn't play this game in its prime. I played this mainly when uh, uh Black Ops was out. But, like I have. Uh, literally have days in this game. It's probably my favorite Call of Duty, despite what other people think. Like, a lot of people would be like, oh, it was broken, blah, blah, blah. Well, I didn't play it when it was broken, so my experience was fine. Sure, like, a few things were annoying, but it's still great. It's still a really good game. <laughs> I wouldn't say great. It is for me. But I love this game. I love the Modern Warfare franchise, to be honest. A lot of people didn't like Modern Warfare 3. I really liked it. And shooting Zakayev was the last part of COD 4. Five years later, so it's like 20, I think it's 2016. It's a year from now, pretty much. And COD 4 takes place in 2011, so 2016. The more things I haven't played change, this, I haven't played the, the campaign for this game same. in a long time. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. We fought and bled alongside the Russians. We should have known they'd hate us for it. History is written by the victor. It's the Red Square. And here I am thinking we'd won. But you bring down one enemy and they find someone even worse to replace him. Locations change, the rationale, the objective. Yesterday's enemies are today's recruits. Train them to fight alongside you, and pray they don't eventually decide to hate <laughs> you for it too. Hero of the New Russia. U.S. Army Rangers. Private First Class, Joseph Same shit, Allen. different day. You know what I'm looking for, Sergeant Foley. Keep your eyes so, open. Got a new badge hit in the pit today, sir. I'll send you the best I find. 7th Ranger. So, Alan is SF, technically. 75th Ranger Regiment is uh, Special Forces, huh? They're uh, Welcome to Foley and Allen and Dunn. Those are the, or I guess not Allen, so Ramirez. No offense, but I see a lot of you guys uh, from the hip and Allen, I guess. Or SF. So that's pretty cool. Show what I'm talking. Dude, can I like turn up? Oop, they're uh. Like you can't even hear them talk. Uh, I don't think that's. 
He sprayed bullets all over the damn place. You've got to pick your target. Oh, now it's like fixed. Oh, no. Whatever. From a stable stance. Private Allen, show our friends here how the Rangers take down the target. Crouch first, then aim down your sight at the target. That's all there is to it. You want your targets to go down? You gotta aim down your sights. Aiming down your sights also works for switching quickly between targets. I'm so glad they uh, got rid of these like training missions at the beginning of the campaign. Like they had them, they had them in COD 4 obviously, Modern Warfare 2. They have one in Black Ops. System. Toss a frag grenade. Toss the grenade. Boom. Think twice before tossing one up here. Thanks for the help, Private Allen. Now get over to the pit. General Shepard wants to see you run the course. Who wants to go first? Show me what you I'm stuck. Okay. These guys are playing some b-ball. Yo. Pretty cool. So is it? That's Shepard's uh, helicopter. Hey, private. Yo, what up, Welcome dude? Back to the pit. Dunn is actually voiced by Barry Pepper, who is like probably the most famous actor anyway, out of all. Observation. Like they got Go ahead and grab a pistol. this game, they had a lot of people <laughs> like famous. Right, try I guess semi-famous. Good. Now switch to your side arm again. You see how fast that was? Barry Pepper. He was in Saving Private Ryan. And reloading. Yeah, well, he's in a lot of the movies. I kind of like this. But uh, gonna be watching. is it David Keith or Keith David? I, those are two different actors. Squad. Voices are Sergeant Foley. Okay, yeah, uh, let's get rid of this. Timer starts as soon as the first ACR. target pops. Oh, this is gonna be fun to do. Oh, this kid. Uh, oh, that's a kid. Man, you made that course your bitch. Yeah, we're not doing no veteran. Okay, head upstairs and regroup the team where you can go back in on the course again. <laughs> we're doing it on recruit because dying's uh, All right, head upstairs stupid. I, I've completed the game. Yes, uh, you're victor. We're headed out. Lost contact. Surprisingly, not. Oh. Man, that guy's dead. Look at his brains are all over. Oh, no, he's not. I'm not sure whose blood that was, but whatever. of man every fight is our fight because what happens over here matters over there we don't get to sit one out learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction we can't give you freedom but we can give you the know-how to acquire sick. it like there's and that my friends you just is put down a bridge the whole army so base of steel Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. This is a time for heroes. A time.
time for legend. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work. Oh, just so you know, he would not be there without any type of, like, best. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, see you next time.